Hey Year 12, we're up to our last video here for this exercise, so for this uh, chapter, we are looking at life expectancy. And in a lot of ways, this is uh, quite different and probably a fair bit easier. The first thing that you need to learn is when we talk about life expectancy, it's not how long someone is expected to live, but how much longer. So, a baby might have a life expectancy of 85 years, but a person in their 90s might have a life expectancy of, I don't know, two years, right? It's not the age that you expect to attain, but how many more years you can expect to live. Right. Now, we, uh, this comes down to some sort of stat analysis all the time. There's no standard way of doing these questions, but you do need to understand that idea. How many years left? <laughs> How many years left? Now, here's a table. It shows the number of infant deaths per thousand live births in Australia from 2003 to 2015. Okay, here is some data. What percentage of babies died at birth in Australia in 2005? Here we go. Here's 2005. That's 4.9 per thousand. Right? So that is 0.49%. If you like, it's 4.9 divided by 1,000 and then multiplied by 100 to make it a percent. Okay. Just like your score in a test, say it's your score out of the total, multiplied by 100 to make it a percent. Here, it's 4.9 out of 1,000, multiplied by 100 to make it a percent. Divide by 1,000, multiplied by 100 is like divide by 10. Okay, so 0.49%. Now, B, calculate the equation of the least squares regression line of best fit. How do we do this? Can you remember? Right, back to our calculator. Clear it. Best to reset it. Second function 9, 3 equals AC. Right, yeah. Let's drag our calculator over here so we can see. Do we know what our data is going to be? No, we can't quite see it, can we? We're going to have to move it halfway along. So, mode. 2 for stats. 2 for bivariate data. It says least squares regression. Lost my calculator again. Here we go. Here's my calculator. So, year goes first. That is my independent variable. 2003, 2004, 2000, oops, too many. 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 9. Oops, once again, too far. 2010. How far does this go? All the way to 15. Okay, hang on. Here we are back, and that's all my data entered there, right? You can see these ones here. Wonderful. Clear. Now, second function, 1, 5. Remember, B is for the gradient, A is for the y-intercept. So I'm going to say, well, look, I'm just going to call it X and Y. I'm going to say Y equals, now I need to find the value for B here. So that's option 2 here. Y equals negative 0 0.14. Negative 0 0.14x. Now we need the y-intercept, which is going to be A. Second so function 1, 5, 1 is 292. Okay, that is my least squares regression line. So, to work out how many deaths, if we multiply the year by negative 0 0.14 and then add 292, we should get a rough sort of approximation. Explain the meaning of the gradient of this line. Well, it is negative, and indicates... by how many births per thousand the death rate is decreasing per year. And I think the per year is important because the gradient is a rate of sorts. It's per unit, because right? uh, we divide by the run, it's a rise, that's the change, divided by the run, 
right? So it's the rise per run, if you like. It is the deaths per year, the decline in deaths per year. Calculate correct two decimal places correlation coefficient for this data to describe the correlation. Well, fortunately, we've already got this stuff in the calculator. The second function one, uh, one uh, no. second function one five correlation coefficient three negative not zero point nine five. R equals negative 0 0.95. That's two decimal places. Describe the correlation. Strong, or we could even say very. Very strong negative. Now, it's not that it's sort of very negative, right? Um, it's not that it's decreasing quickly. Right, what it means is that it is decreasing with a like a high degree of reliability. Right, that's what it means. It's not that it's decreasing quickly, but that we can predict how much it decreases with a fairly high level of confidence. Anyway, do you think the mortality rate will continue to decline? Say yes, because of the strength of the correlation coefficient. I think that's probably enough to say that. Okay, the strength is negative 0 0.95. Remember, sort of the minimum that could be is negative 1. It's close to that. Doesn't mean it's declining quickly. We don't see it declining quickly. What we see, though, is that it declines very steadily, very reliably, very predictably. Okay, so I think it's reasonable enough to extrapolate because we're talking about what happens after 2015. Nonetheless, I think it's reasonable to do that. Anyhow, uh, there's a funny comic sort of for you. If you enjoy that, other than that, that is the last video for this topic. We'll be doing some revision after this. And then, of course, ooh, topic test, seeing class.